Hey, good morning, y'all. Here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad it. You should be too. Check it out, y'all. I'm in the tiling attire. Hopefully, for the last time, at least with this project, hopefully this is going in the trash. Well, maybe not the shirt. Shirt's still pretty good, but the shorts are falling apart. So, hopefully today, the plan is to grout. I think I'm 100% ready to grout. We're gonna start grouting at the top, work our way down to the floor. That's the plan. So right now I gotta get ready as far as I gotta cover the floor, get all the tools, yada yada, all that stuff together. So you guys keep watching, let's go back to work. Okay y'all, how about that? We got the grout done. Grout is done. Well, I say done. All right, it's got to dry and I got to come back with some haze remover. And the corner. And I got to put it in my little corner shelf over there. So, but for the most part, it's all done. I think it's looking pretty good. When it gets all dried out, we'll see. And yeah, go from there. That's it for today though y'all. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hey, good afternoon, y'all. Here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad it should be too. Getting it back at it. It's gonna be a short video today. So pretty much all I plan on getting done at this point is putting in the corner shelf. So there's gonna be a corner shelf that goes right here. So we're gonna put that in today because reading the instructions on the grout, it says it needs like three days. After 24 hours light traffic, and then after three days, you can start using it more permanently, I guess, if you will. So all we're gonna do is put that shelf in today, and then tomorrow I think will be day three because this is actually, I didn't do anything yesterday. And we grouted it the day before, so that's that's 24, that's 48 hours. So maybe tomorrow or Saturday, we'll work on using some haze remover and go back over, clean this all up again. And then we'll be ready to use this thing once we put the sealer on it. I forgot about that part too. I gotta put sealer on it. So right now we're just gonna put that corner shelf in and then move on from there, all right? You guys keep watching, let's get back to work. Okay, y'all, there you go. One Schluter Curdy corner shelf installed. Now we just gotta wait for it all to dry up and then we'll be ready tomorrow. Like I said, tomorrow evening, afternoon, Saturday morning, we'll work on cleaning all the tiles again and then sealing the tiles. And then, yeah, hopefully we'll be using this thing by Saturday evening, Sunday morning. Woohoo! You guys keep watching. See you tomorrow. Hey y'all, here we go again. Good afternoon. It's another great day that the Lord has made. Getting back at it. Today's the day that we dehaze, I guess if you will. Kind of clean off these tiles again. Scrub them down. So I'm going to try a microfiber at first. And if the microfiber doesn't work, then I have some nano what do they call this stuff? Nano scrub, professional nano scrub to use. Had that for a while. I had that when I did a travertine shower probably 10 years ago or so, and it worked, worked great. So we're gonna try the, the old microfiber by itself before we do that, because that, that worked for me as well. So I think we're gonna try that today. If we get that done today, then I'm gonna put the sealer on, put the sealer on, depending on how long the sealer takes to cure out. We may be showering in this thing tomorrow. We shall see. All right, you guys keep watching. Let's go back to work. Okay, y'all, there you go, that's it. 
that's it for today. Didn't get it all done. I got the whole top half done. Whole top half is done. So tomorrow we'll go down, finish the bottom half, the floor, and then put on the sealer. I want to go ahead and seal it. Really, I don't necessarily know that I need to seal it, but it is natural stone. So I feel like I should seal it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put sealer on it. No harm, no foul. Either way, right? All right, y'all. Appreciate you watching. See you tomorrow. Hey, good morning, y'all. Here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. Get back at it. Well, we're going to do the bottom half. So I guess I should say the goal today is to finish this shower in terms of all the tile work. So what that means is got to wash down the bottom, scrape the bottom, kind of dehaze it, if you will. There's still little pieces of grit and grime on there from the grout on the faces of some of these tiles. So we're going to get that done. I just had the bottom half left to do. The top half is all done. Get that done and the floor. Get that done. And then we shall put the sealer on there. We get the sealer on there. That'll take about two to three hours to dry, four hours to dry, something like that it says. And then once the sealer's done, dried up, then I gotta put on the faucet and the shower head. We get the faucet and shower head done. Then I gotta build a little structure for a shower curtain because we're not gonna be able to get the glass for another month maybe three weeks a month because uh, the glass guy comes and does his final measure on the 15th which is basically a week and two days and then it takes about 10 days to get the glass after that so probably about three to four weeks before we get the glass in so i gotta build a little structure out of some pvc for a shower curtain and we'll be ready to roll y'all so that's the goal for today y'all keep watching let's get back to work Okay y'all, there you go, that's it for right now. We're gonna take a break. You saw me do a couple little patch spots. We're gonna let that dry for a while. And then we're gonna come back and put the sealant on. So the sealer on, I guess. Sealant, sealer, same thing, I guess, whatever. Anyway, so we're gonna take a break and we'll be back shortly. Keep watching, see you like right now. Hey y'all, we're back. So Nana said, hey, why don't we go ahead and build our little shower, temporary shower curtain frame and put the plumbing together and all that stuff. And then next week we can do the sealer since reading the sealer bottle, the grout needs to dry for at least 48 hours. And so I did a couple of touch up places yesterday. I had to do a couple of touch up with the grout along here and inside here. And then today, I did some touch up places under here and around the bottom so they're not really going to be in a lot of traffic and they're not like high traffic or anything not going to be pretty much not going to be any direct water or anything on them so i think i think we're going to do that i think we'll just build this thing and then put it together and go with it and then next week we'll do the sealer so i think that's what we're going to do right now so you guys keep watching let's go back to work Okay, y'all. There you go. I think that's it for today. Probably that's it probably for this video. We got the temporary shower curtains in till we get the glass in. Got everything cleaned up. Anyways, I think that's it for this video, y'all. Probably for this week. So got the temporary shower curtain in. Got all the tiles clean, cut, everything. Just got to put sealer on this thing and then we'll do that next weekend because some of the places I patched some of the grout lines I patched, they need, they need to cure out. It says 24 hours for light traffic, so but none of it's on the floor, so that's not an issue. And none of it's in direct path of the water, so that's not an issue. 
but the sealer says it needs to dry for 48 hours at least. So we're not going to get the sealer done this week. We're going out of town, leaving tomorrow, be back next weekend, and then we'll put the sealer on. And a glass guy coming, and we'll get it measured out for the glass. So that's it, y'all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the videos. If you enjoyed them, give us a thumbs up. If not, we can give us a thumbs down too. We understand not every video is for every viewer. We're okay with that. Either way, leave us some comments, constructive criticisms, things you'd like to see, stuff like that. And check us out on our social media at Lubin Cooper on Pinterest, Twitter, X, and Instagram, as well as check out our Rumble channel. We're still migrating videos over there and trying to get that thing going. So if you're ever on Rumble, give us a watch. We'd appreciate it. Most importantly though, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified next time we upload. Check out our other videos, a lot more property vlog videos. We got how-to videos. We got traveling videos. Appreciate it. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.